Well, this game's a piece of slime, isn't it? Literally. Okay, not a lot of you people know about this game. Put your hand down, you don't know. Anyway, this game is so frustrating, I couldn't even get past the third level. What is that game? The Ooze. Yeah, ho ho ho, boy. This is gonna be interesting, isn't it? This game was a lame parody of the Toxic Crusader, wasn't it? Actually, that was Sega's intent. No joke. And like I said, I couldn't get past level 3! Well, anyway, it's time to conduct the review. Ah, here we go. So for starters, there's very little animation in the introductory cutscene. They don't even explain in words how everything went down. Although in the manual, it states that you play as a scientist who looks at his boss's computer and finds out he wants to take over the world. Okay, it's this cliche again, is it? Anyway, your boss catches you, he tries to kill you with slime, you turn into a giant slime monster, and get flushed down the toilet. Ooh boy, a riveting story, isn't it? Hey wait, is that a Slimer? Yeah, it's Slimer from Ghostbusters! What a ripoff! Anyways, the goal of the game is to collect DNA samples of your human cell so you can become human again. And guess what? They're not in plain sight! Far from it, actually. Gameplay! Okay, here we go. So this is no platformer, it's a... Uh, overhead view game? Why not? Anyways, you go around collecting all kinds of items, whether it be slime for your body, or this little power-up that makes you go faster. Well now, let's see what kind of enemies we have here. We have guys that shoot fire, we have machines that shoot fire, we have slugs, frogs, and... whatever that is. And here are your methods of attack. Hawking a loogie, or using your absorbent arm to grab onto enemies. Level 1 is pretty standard, not too challenging, not too easy. But then you come to level 2 and I'm like, oh wait a minute, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Well, it turns out you pull levers. Yes, you have to pull levers in order to move stuff out of the way. Pull the lever, Kronk! Unfortunately, I lost some footage because the capture card froze on me, I stopped recording, and I didn't realize I had to record again until after the capture card started working again. <sighs> so stupid! Anyways, level 3, let's go. And it's a maze. I wandered all around this maze and almost fell asleep. Because I had no idea where to go. Anyways, I died in the exact same spot and lost all my lives. And no, I did not edit that part, that's how I died right there. Instantly! Then I finally decided to shut the game off. I'm not giving this game any more of my time, because I couldn't get any further than level 3. And that says a lot about it. Well, at least this game tried and made an effort, so maybe I'll give it that. Well, review's over. I can't make it past level 3, and I'm not even gonna try. See you in two weeks. That's right, I'm uploading twice a month. The next episode will come out on the 15th, and come to think of it, I haven't figured out a game yet, but I might as well pick between Rayman 3 and Lego Island 2, so yeah, I got that going for me. See you on the 15th, subscribe, and bye bye <laughs>